Next, we'll look at anemia, specifically as it relates to pediatric nursing. Anemia from an inadequate supply of iron in the diet is the most common reason for anemia in infants and children in the United States. It is especially prevalent among children between the ages of 6 and 24 months who are from lower income families. Iron is essential for the production of red blood cells and is a key component of hemoglobin, the oxygen carrying pigment in the blood. Iron is normally obtained through the diet and by recycling iron from old red blood cells. Without it, the blood is unable to deliver oxygen to the body's cells. What are the risk factors for iron deficiency anemia? Iron deficiency can result from inadequate supplies of dietary iron, a condition that impairs absorption of iron or the synthesis of hemoglobin, or from an increase in the body's need for iron, as when children experience periods of rapid growth. For toddlers and preschoolers, energy and iron demands for growth are very high. Adolescents are also at risk because of growth spurts during puberty and poor eating habits. Children at risk for iron deficiency anemia include infants given low or non-iron fortified formula or breastfed after six months of age without iron supplementation, premature infants or low birth weight infants who have reduced fetal hemoglobin supplies, possibly due to low stores of iron in utero, children who have a gastrointestinal disease such as chronic infection, chronic diarrhea, celiac disease, or an intestinal parasite, and infants, children, and adolescents who have low levels of iron in the diet. They would be those who were breastfed exclusively after six months of age, drank cow's milk instead of formula before 12 months of age, started solid foods later than six months of age, lack meat in the diet, or have an inadequate food intake in general. Signs and symptoms of anemia include pallor, fatigue, weakness, irritability, and an inability to concentrate. Clients with anemia may have shortness of breath, a sore, swollen tongue, lesions in corner of the mouth, and pale conjunctivae. They may have a poor appetite, headache, dizziness, and cravings for non-food items. That's called pica. They may demonstrate impaired psychomotor and cognitive skills, slow cognitive development, and a shortened attention span that can impair learning. In addition, they may have weakened immunity. In fact, children experiencing recurrent infections should be tested for anemia. How is iron deficiency anemia diagnosed? Diagnostic testing begins with a complete history and physical, including a dietary history. Lab results indicating anemia include low hematocrit and hemoglobin, morphological changes in red blood cells, low serum ferritin, and low serum iron. Treatment for iron deficiency anemia includes nutrition counseling and supplemental iron therapy. Emphasis on iron-rich food sources is an important component of prevention and treatment. Good sources of iron in the diet are as follows. With a well-balanced diet that is rich in iron, there is no need for supplementation. Children who are picky eaters might need a vitamin supplement that includes iron. While oral iron supplements are best absorbed on an empty stomach, many people experience nausea and have to take supplement with food. Your nursing care concerns focus on preventing and identifying children at risk for iron deficiency anemia, identifying dietary habits that contribute to anemia, initiating iron supplementation, and developing a dietary plan. In addition, you will administer iron supplements PO, usually iron sulfate, two to three times a day between meals. You'll advise parents to have the child take liquid preparations through a straw to prevent discoloration of the teeth. Promote vitamin C supplements and foods rich in vitamin C to enhance absorption. You'll administer IM meds via z track method when oral iron is not tolerated. Give iron fortified formula or give iron supplements to children who are breastfeeding and provide family education. You'll teach about administering supplements, dose, route, time, and side effects. Inform families that the stools may be tarry and dark green or black in color, and that the other side effects include constipation and discolored teeth. Teach about nutrition, including iron-rich foods, what to avoid, such as giving iron with milk, and increasing iron intake, particularly in adolescence. You'll also teach parents about the importance of follow-up care and periodic blood evaluations.